Good Molecules just launched their Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30 that has made some of us chemists raise an eyebrow. Let me explain. If you don't already follow Lab Muffin Beauty Science, Michelle is a phenomenal beauty content creator and an extremely, extremely smart PhD chemist. I learned so much from her, but she made a video about this already. I wanted to echo the points that she made in her video and give you my POV as a chemist who has seen many, many brands do the same exact thing Good Molecules is doing. So for some context, Good Molecules claims they launched a 100% mineral sunscreen, but if you take a closer look at their ingredient list, they included an ingredient called butyloctyl salicylate. Now what is is butyloctyl salicylate. As a chemist, we use this ingredient as a solvent, however, it has SPF boosting properties. Essentially, this ingredient can play multiple roles. Butyloctyl salicylate is essentially a chemical sunscreen filter, however, it is not on the list of sunscreen filters approved by the FDA to be considered inactive. Therefore, this ingredient is listed with the other inactive ingredients on the packaging. So as a result, brands can still use this ingredient and claim their product as 100% mineral. So many brands put butyloctyl salicylate in their 100% mineral sunscreens. Brands like CeraVe, Neutrogena, and Dermalogica are just some to name a few. So for those who are not aware, sunscreens are very difficult and costly to make. Reaching a passing SPF 30 or 50 can be really challenging with mineral sunscreens, especially if you don't want it to be super cakey, dry, or leave a really, really bad white cast. By including the ingredient butyloctyl salicylate, we are able to make the texture of the formula a little bit better while boosting the SPF value. I definitely agree that claiming 100% mineral sunscreen while using a chemical filter is definitely misleading. However, I don't want anyone to think that chemical sunscreens are bad. There's absolutely nothing wrong with chemical sunscreens. In fact, some of my favorite sunscreens are all chemical sunscreens. I think until butyloctyl salicylate gets added onto the list of FDA regulated sunscreen filters, we will continue seeing brands use this in mineral sunscreen formulations.